no smell whatsoever mixing it it's very thick so I put the resin in first and the thin hardener on top and now I'm just mixing stirring for a good three minutes and I have a timer over here you can't see it it's off camera so I'm gonna walk away for a minute I need some more light brighten it up a little bit more but you can see it's very clear like that Hopefully my little iPod can handle how long this video is because my phone certainly can't. It doesn't have enough memory. Next phone I'm getting 64 gigabytes because 16 gigabytes is not enough for what I'll be doing. 35 minutes you guys. Hold on. A lot of bubbles. I'm standing above it and I don't smell anything. I'm not trying to have my nose down in it. I'm actually standing up mixing this. So you guys hear my timer. So time is up. Looks good. It smells just like any other resin. It doesn't actually smell at all unless you put your nose into it. Um, yeah. You don't smell something. But as far as me standing up above it like this, working it, no. I don't smell anything. at all so there we go I'm gonna just set that there for a second get my alcohol together move my phone out of the way I don't need that anymore all right so I'm using artist Sue soft sparkle white um, Systems 3 White. I'm all off camera. Artist Sue Navy Pigment. And Artist Sue Bronze. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. I want to keep this simple. This is just a little test. Nothing major. As you can see, I have this little canvas. This is an 8 by 10 So, yeah. And I have two little coasters over here just in case. I run out of space. So I'm going to put this in first. With now, I have my my sticks from um. I have these my artist till death sticks, but I still have all these wooden um popsicle sticks. So I'm going to use these first. Okay, let's put this over here for a second. I don't want that sitting in there too long. Two nice little shakes of that. Be careful, you guys, when you're using mica powders. Everybody, you know, says that. So don't breathe it in if you can help it. Try not to breathe these paste either. Oh, this navy blue is kind of thick. Ooh. The paste to me stinks, so um, don't be trying to get too close to that. It's really thick. Thick and creamy, but 
it's still usable. That's probably all I need. Put that up. This is how it's supposed to be. Let's move this over so folks can see what's going on. It's hot, so I'm not trying to have a lot of heat in here. I'm really not. I'm certainly not trying to have a lot of light on me either, but we're going to make it work. So let me stir this all over my canvas, huh? See that? That's how it's supposed to be, nice and creamy. But let me keep our fingers crossed and hope that this works. I'll show you the resin when I'm done. I think that's all of that that I need too. If I need some more. I know where it's at. And then this systems three. You really don't need a lot of this. I love, love this. This is awesome. And that's pretty much all you need. You don't need a lot. All right, let's get this resin out of this cup, and then I'll show you what resin I am using. Because it was a big, big, big deal when I posted the pictures on Facebook, ATD family. You I'm taping. Stop it. It's my husband down there being funny, talking about sons of bitches. <laughs> he was watching some crazy movie and he kept saying that over and over again. So he thinks that's hilarious. He's a funny man. We have some good times. Good times. Alright, so I'm, I'm mixing this. This is this Artisu Soft Sparkly White. It's pretty. I like that. Oh, let me show you this. This is what I'm using right here. Can you see that? Supposed to have 50 minutes to an hour of working time. Let's see. And I think they sent me the wrong one, but I ain't complaining. So far, I'm not tripping off of it too much. Oh God, I love this navy blue. That is pretty. And this is Artisu Bronze. I think this is bronze. Yes, it is. It's pretty too. That's going to be nice. I have too much resin. I can already tell I'm going to need another canvas. Or some more coasters. Oh, I actually have molds. I made a keychain and gave it to my father and my husband. And my father was like, this is so cool. He really liked it. So, that makes me happy. Alright, let's move this aside. I'm going to keep this up a little bit. Put these bubbles so that I can spread this. So no real smell with heating it. We'll see how it holds the heat. It gets very liquidy. So when you first mix it, it's really thick. Oh, I have paint on my hand. That's not good. I'm going to change this because I hate that. I'm going to have to work with that part. But um, once it's mixed, it's and you heat it up, it's pretty, sends out quite nicely. So let's see how it goes for me. Might have put too much resin on here too, but it's, it's okay.
I don't know, something about working with small canvases that kind of bother me a little bit because they just seem like they're not heavy enough. And this canvas has been stretched. I'm like right on the mic. I hope I'm not screaming. This canvas has been stretched with some hot water. And um, I actually use gesso to stretch my canvases. I paint the back with gesso. And um, I spray it with some warm water and then I heat it up with a heat gun or a blow dryer. And then I, um, once it's all dry, I paint it with some gesso, just the back side. And the front side, I usually paint it with um, Cleanse 2 primer because sometimes I, use, I like to use alcohol inks. So, this depends on what I'm doing. Yeah, this is turning out good. My phone is still taping, so it must be a good thing. So far, so good. I think I like it. I still have some paste on this stick, but it's okay. Let's, um, I don't know. What should I do? Oh, you know what? I'm going to do something fun. And something that I normally don't do. Since I put that color there by accident. I'm going to try this. Since it's white. I'm not really going for a negative space or anything like that. I'm actually just having a good old time, just playing around. Nothing fancy smancy. Just seeing what the resin will do. Oh, that's not what I want. I want to make some stuff happen in here. Two. So I ordered that new heat gun because I wanted a heat gun that actually I can control the temperature. I don't want something that um, is too hot. Because sometimes I want something that's just kind of warm. I burned up a lot of paintings um, by having my heat gun too hot. So this resin, it does smoke a little bit, but um, I might, and that's that was on low. Let's keep some white. Make this kind of fun. That's fun. Check it, check it, check it. Looks like a little feather or something. Kind of wish I would have put some gold in here, but too late for that. No, it's not. I'm not going to do that. So my birthday is coming up, everybody. It's like on a Friday. It's Sunday. So I'm a July baby. July baby in the house. My husband wants to take me out to dinner tomorrow. Isn't that nice?
Why is it every time you want to try to eat healthy and do something great with yourself that something special comes up and you then have to splurge a little bit? So, but since it's my birthday, I'm going to let myself have a little fun. Stop being so strict with myself. For one day, anyways. Look at all that. Can y'all see it? If you can, I'll show you in a minute. Because I'm almost done with this. I like this resin. It um, It's pretty cool to work with. It's not bad. I don't know how it's going to dry, but let's see. Yeah, my husband says, yeah, let's see. Let's see, girl. I think I need a little bit more blue over here just to make a little bit of interest with what's going on right there. And I'm going to add just a small little thing like that. And one right here. And some white. That pretty sparkle white. A little bit more. Alright. This is my favorite. I love that. That's so pretty. And then the undertone of the blue lacing and all that. That's just super cool. Fade that out a little bit. And just try to fade this over here if I can. There we go. Oh, that's cool. I'm done. That's it. I'm done. I'm calling it quits. Not doing any more than that. Ah! I'm going to make some coasters and call it a day. Let me get you guys down and open this up so that I can put this on a tray. A tray, tray. so glad that Judy talk, told us about these bread trays. They are awesome. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this. This thing right here is the bomb. Alright. Do you see this? I'm like Jeff. I don't like how this, and if you don't know Jeff, Jeff is from artisttilldeath.com. Check them out. I don't like how that happens, but I'm going to Leave it alone. Let it do its thing. This is so pretty. Cool colors. Liking that resin. Look at that. Pretty nice. I like how that folds over like that. Those cells. This is my favorite. that's a really pretty piece if I say so myself hey that looks like a wave alright let's get back up here and make some coasters cause I got them I'm gonna put this on this bread pan just set it on down there and let it drip it's little heart out burn my leg on the uh, heat gun. That would not be cool. Okay. Next. I only have two because that's a small canvas and um, if it dries right, hey, let's sell it like that. Let's sell it. It's a set. 
That would be nice. Oh god, I have so much resin left. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna make some little molds. <sighs> I don't know. Let's make some diamonds. Because life is a diamond. In the rough. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna let the resin do its thing. I even have clear. What the hell? That's crazy. Let's see what that what happens with that. I might have to actually make some more coasters. And uh you know bite the bullet and not have a set. Or just make some coasters with this color. All right, let's add this other colors. I actually like this. This is so pretty. It's so sparkly white. Give him that blue. All right. I have so much white left over. This is ridiculous. I'm going to make a white diamond with this white. Actually, I don't think I'm going to make any more posters. I'm just going to pour this in here and make one white diamond magnet like that. That's Yeah, if you're going to use this resin on high, make sure you're in a ventilated area. It does have a little tiny tinge of a smell. It's not overbearing. I mean, you know, I'm not sitting here choking. But it's got a little tiny smell to it. For sure. All right, these are done. I'm gonna put this on this little mat, and then I am going to finish with filling up um, these little diamonds right here. So I already have one. I guess I can fill them up on camera. How boring is this, huh? But I'm gonna pour this, oops. This stuff is still liquidy. I don't know how long I've been doing this. Let me check my phone. Twenty-three minutes. It was a little bit longer than that because I actually um, got everything together before I even started. So. That's not bad. And I'm calling it quits already. Do you guys see these coasters? How they... Man, that is... That's royal for you. That's pretty. And I'm making some diamonds. I have some other stuff too. I could make some keychains, but I want to make... I tested this out and made some um, magnets before. And um, it's so funny. I gave one of these magnets to my mom, and my mom has a refrigerator that doesn't have any. It's a wooden refrigerator. She got a new refrigerator, and it has, you can't stick anything on it. I was like, why did I give this to you? You can't even stick it anywhere. She took it anyways. She likes my stuff. She's a big supporter of my art. She just called me today and was like, I put one of your pictures in a frame. Can I do that? And I was like, absolutely not. It's got resin on it, Mom. It doesn't need that. So I'm going to do some clear ones. I'm going to put some little sparkles in them. And, um, yeah, see what happens with that. All these. Okay, I might have put too much in that one. 
but you know. You know. You know. I'm going to put some of this glitter in here. I like this glitter. I don't know if it's... Oh, yeah. I didn't know if it was open or not. The glitter might just be on the top. That would suck. I want it mixed in there. Get in there. Okay, let's see how that turns out. That ought to be fun. Let's just scrape some of this stuff up, too. All right, guys. My whole um, thought on this resin is I like it. It's cool. I mean, it really is. It's still definitely workable. No doubt about that. You can still, you know, I can still work this resin. Do you see that? It's still liquidy and it's not hot. It's just, just now warm to the touch. It's not smoking. I did it again. I put too much, but that's okay. I'm going to try this green little, oops. I think you did too much with that. You see how I am? I'm neat with everything else, but when it comes to this, oh my goodness. I am all over the place. Those should be fun. Look at that. That should be um, an interesting little piece. This is just some mica powders. It's called, I don't know what that's called. Do you know what that, how do you say that? Finna burn, finna, finna bear. Anyways, that's what it is. Okay, let me put this stuff up and stop playing around. Peace out, guys. For real. 27 minutes is enough. I think you get the gist of it and how this resin is. Here is this coaster. That is beautiful. This is gorgeous. That is setting up, sitting here nicely. I used to put these on these little cups and have found that it's just a waste. So now I just set them on here and pull them up like a crazy woman. It's actually therapeutic, snatching them off this plastic like this. So this is a nice piece. I'm happy with it. It'll be for sale. If you want it, it's yours. And these come with it. I don't know how much. Go to the store. Check it out. It'll be reasonable. Oh my god, I'm so loving this. That is gorgeous. I might throw one of these in there too. Okay. Bye.